Well, welcome to Choose the Update. Hey, over my shoulder, you can see the beautiful Madonna and Child that's out here in our prayer garden, our Marian garden. And our workers are putting down the hardscape and we'll be getting in some shrubbery here before winter. It's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful prayer area here. I think we're gonna get a lot of use out of it and it's gonna be gorgeous. We had a great weekend this past weekend with the backpack blessing. At 10 o'clock mass, we were able to bless our students and their backpacks, and it was really good to see a lot of parishioners that we, uh, and family, young families that we haven't seen really since COVID, but they're kind of coming back now. And so we had a good group of young people there. It was good to see that. And uh, remember, if with all the COVID, your kids are behind in at religious education or anything like that, let us know. We'll get them caught up. Many of you know Matt Rosinski. He's our new school principal. The Rosinski family, well known here at St. Pius, been here a long, long time. Matt's a 2002 graduate of our school, and uh, he's been teaching over at St. Mary's in Waterford for seven years and been the principal there for the last three. So he's gonna become our new principal here at St. Pius. We're really, really excited about it. Matt's an usher on that at the 10 o'clock mass on the chapel side. So many of you recognize him. And uh, he'll be starting with us sometime this fall. He wants a smooth transition over to St. Mary's in Waterford, and then he'll be coming and join us. And we're really, really happy he's gonna be coming. Hey, just a reminder, registration for Food Truck Friday, that's this Friday. Registration, uh, gotta have it done by tonight, okay? If you want food, you gotta register by tonight. Um, it's gonna be 6 to 8 p.m. this Friday. Uh, we invite you to come to the chapel between five and six. You know, for a prayer intention, we'll have a little basket there, put your prayer intention in there. We're gonna pray those intentions for this weekend at the masses, and then come out and join us for, for six to eight for the, uh, uh, the, the wonderful night we're gonna have. We got a movie, we got a beer truck, we got food. So it's gonna be a fun night. So come on out for that. Bring your lawn chairs, just like you did for We Got You Wednesday. So you got a chance to be a, a place to sit. St. Pius Picnic, this Sunday, one to four. Um, that one you can register online or you can walk in. Um, it, we got, it's for all ages, huh? And once again, bring your lawn chairs uh, so you got a place to sit. We're happy to be offering several support groups uh, to help uh, any of our people who might be hurting. So we've got AA is going to be beginning this Thursday night. Let us know if you want us to confidentially get a name to our leader. Uh, we're going to have another divorced support group. Going to meet two times a month between now and December. Uh, the first one is going to be September 25th from 11 to 12, right after the 10 o'clock mass. Uh, you can register online for that. Uh, seasons of hope for anyone who's experiencing a loss. That's a very, very good program. And so that's gonna begin Monday evening, October 3rd. So again, give us a call and uh, we'll get you to, the par to our, um, uh, our pastoral care office and they'll help you out. Father Russ is offering Catholicism 101. Uh, that's gonna be offered Monday nights and Thursday afternoons. Uh, same, same class, you choose Monday or Thursday. It's gonna be four weeks. He'll, uh, so whether you're starting out just trying to learn about Catholicism or you know, you've, you've done it for a long time, it's good to have a little refresher course. I think he's gonna do a really, really good job with that and you can register online for that. That Man Is You begins this Friday at 6 a.m. Uh, we're always looking for some new men. We've got a good core group of guys that we get together, talk about faith, you know, kind of uh, from, from a man's perspective and some of the, the challenges that men face. So join us on Friday uh, at 6 a.m. Just show up, we'll get, you, we'll, we'll get you in a little small group from there. Sacred Heart Food Pantry. Uh, this is the weekend that we do our drop off. Now, you can always bring your food during the week. So just come to the main door in the church and just leave your food there uh, during the week or obviously bring it to masses this weekend. Senior Bingo. We're gonna do Senior Bingo every second Wednesday of the month from one to two. And so tomorrow is another one. So come on to our Senior Bingo. Uh, one to two, we have a lot of fun. Uh, it's good to get together. You can sign up or uh, online or you can call the office. Hey, you'll recall before COVID, we had um, adoration of the Blessed Sacrament and um, we got away from it because of the COVID, but now we want to bring it back. So we're going to be doing it on Tuesdays from 1.30 to 6 p.m. On 1.30 to 6, we're going to do it in the church. We're going to begin on September 20th, but we're looking for people who could sit with the Blessed Sacrament for an hour, huh? could sit with the Blessed Sacrament for an hour. So if, uh, you, if you might be interested, go to the website or you can sign up after daily mass or call the office. But we always want to have somebody with the Blessed Sacrament, okay? New altar server training, grades four to 12. So the training, we got two training sessions next week. It's for any of our kids. Um, Monday, September 19th, 6.30 p.m. Or Wednesday, September 21st, 3.15 p.m. We really appreciate the our help of our kids and it's about a once a month commitment. So we hope maybe parents will support the kids in becoming an altar server. You can go right to the website to sign up for that. 
So looking forward to seeing you this weekend. We got we got the we got the triple events. Uh, bring come on out, bring a friend. Food Truck Friday, come to Mass this weekend, and join us this weekend for the St. Pius picnic on Sunday, uh, one to four. So let's make it a, a trifecta this weekend. Hey, little thought for the week. If you're right with God, we can expect some criticism from the world. If we're right with God, we can expect some criticism from the world. So have a great week.